Hello, aviators. Are you wondering how to get ready to take your CFI check ride? Well, stand by because I have five tips to help you prepare for your CFI check ride. Coming right up. Thanks for stopping by the My CFI Academy YouTube channel. I am Russ Clark, a Gold Seal CFI, CFII. In the past year, I worked with over 150 CFI and CFII candidates. And of course, the biggest question that would come up was, how do I pass my CFI check ride? And do you have any tips? I would reply, as a matter of fact, I have a few tips. So here we go with my top five tips for passing your CFI check ride. Number one, be prepared. And before you accuse me of being Captain Obvious, let me break down what this means to be prepared for your CFI check ride. The obvious part of this statement is you must study. The not so obvious part is what do you study? Almost every examiner is going to start with the fundamentals of instruction. And as I covered in a previous video, they're going to want to know that you have an understanding of not just the rote list of information, but what does it mean and how does it apply? There is not enough time in this video to really go into the details, but if you want to reference my previous video on the fundamentals of instruction, what the DPE wants to know, I highly recommend you check it out. How you respond to the questioning on the fundamentals of instruction will set the tone for the rest of the check ride. Creating flashcards for the fundamentals of instruction and getting your friends, your partner, or spouse to help you study will keep you on track. Have them ask you questions from your flashcards, the CFI oral exam guide, or my favorite FOI study book, the practical guide to the CFI check ride. This will pay dividends in preparing for this part of the oral exam. The oral portion is where most CFI candidates fail. It's not in the air. As a matter of fact, 90% of all CFI check ride failures come during the oral portion. Remember, you don't have to memorize everything. As a flight instructor, you will reference things multiple times to make sure you get the correct information to share with your students. The examiner understands this and expects you to have reference materials at the check ride. To make things easier, be prepared by tabbing your FARs and any reference materials that you take to your check ride. Reference materials that you will want to have on hand will be the Airplane Flying Handbook, the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, AC6165 Hotel, and AC6198 Delta, and of course, your FAR AIM. By tabbing the relevant information in these books, you can quickly reference it when you need to without searching all over the place. The examiner will also notice that you have this level of preparation when you walk in the room and it will leave an excellent impression. You will also want to have your binder set up with the lesson plans you have created for teaching. In addition, you can also include other reference material in your binder as well. I suggest a 3-inch D-ring binder with clear sleeves for your lesson plans and any other reference material that you want to add to your binder. I will more than likely do a video on how to build your binder in the near future. If that is something you think you'd be interested in, please let me know in the comments below. Number two, dress appropriately. I can't stress enough how your appearance can influence the examiner's initial impression of you. When I took my CFI check ride, it was a sweltering 90 degrees at eight o'clock in the morning. I still wore slacks, a polo shirt, and casual dress shoes. A couple days before the check ride, I made sure to get a manicure and I had my hair cut. I know, sounds really kind of overboard, right? When I arrived at the check ride, the examiner looked at me and asked me, why are you wearing slacks when it's 90 degrees out? Of course, he was standing over there in his shorts and polo shirt. My reply was simple and quick. Section E of the Fundamentals of Instruction says, flight instructor should dress professionally. His reply to that was, oh, you're one of those guys, okay. And then he kind of chuckled. I didn't let that phase me because I went in with a professional attitude ready to take this check ride. He then said, go ahead on upstairs, I'll meet you up there in a minute. I trotted up the stairs and started laying out all of my tab materials, my model airplane, my little whiteboard, markers, pens, all the things I had taken with me. Then I sat and I patiently waited for him. A few minutes later, he walked in, looked at the way everything was set up and said to me, let me share a story with you. The last guy that came here was wearing cutoff shorts, a Jimmy Buffett t-shirt, sandals, and when I walked into this room, he had his feet on the coffee table. How do you think that check ride worked out for him? I replied, probably not too good. He said, yeah, it went disastrously for him. I'm not suggesting that you wear a tie, dress shirt, suit, etc. But think about how you look for your check ride. 
a nice pair of cockies, fresh haircut, polo shirt, looking professional and having a professional attitude will go a long way for you in the initial impression that you need to leave on the examiner and it will set the stage for success. Number three, know the endorsements. Besides the fundamentals of instruction, if I were gonna pick one thing that CFI candidates consistently fail on, it would be endorsements. The examiner wants to see that you understand the endorsements you're going to be required to give to your students, whether they're student pilots, private pilots, instrument, commercial, CFI, or CFII, you must go prepared to answer any of those endorsement questions. As a matter of fact, they will most likely ask endorsement questions in a scenario-based method. A common scenario you may receive would be one that revolves around a commercial multi-engine pilot wanting to get a single engine commercial. What endorsements will that pilot need? Just remember to know and understand your endorsements before your check ride. Have a copy of AC 6165 Hotel with you to reference in addition to your FARs. Number four, plan to teach. The CFI check ride is not a commercial redo. Let me say that again. The CFI check ride is not a commercial redo. I have seen many, many CFI students come into training thinking it was going to be a commercial redo. The examiner is going to want to see that you understand how to teach. You can make mistakes along the way on this check ride as long as you can recognize those points and fix them, then instruct the difference between the mistake and the correct way to do things. During the oral, you will have to teach one or two lessons on a whiteboard. The more creative you can be with using model airplanes and different types of teaching aids, the more impressed the examiner will be with your preparation for teaching that lesson. Some examiners will pre-assign lessons for you to teach in advance of the check ride. Others won't. They'll just randomly pick something during the oral portion of the check ride and say, hey, Teach me X. I would suggest when you schedule your check ride to ask the examiner what they would like you to prepare to teach. By doing this, you won't be surprised and might have a chance to prepare. However, they could change their mind and ask you to teach something random. Typically, if this happens and they ask you to teach something random, they're not gonna do that unless you're struggling to teach the assigned lesson. At that point, it's like blood in the water with sharks. My examiner just said, Come prepared, don't worry about it, you'll be fine. Of course, I worried all the way leading up to the check ride, and when it came time for me to teach something on the whiteboard, he simply said, hey, teach me something. The important thing to note is that the examiner is going to know very quickly whether you can or cannot teach or instruct. How can you prepare for this? I cannot stress enough to get anybody that's willing to sit and listen to you. You might have to bribe somebody. Practice in front of friends, family, fellow pilots, or your dog. Anybody who's willing to sit there while you regale in such dry material. When you finish, ask those people to give you an honest critique. This will do more to help your teaching than just practicing to an empty room or the dog. As you prepare for the flying portion, you want to break down how you will teach maneuvers. Make sure to include the pre-maneuver checklist, clearing turns, emergency landing areas, power settings, etc. While performing Clearing turns is a great time to explain what is about to happen, then lead into the actual demonstration and instruction of the maneuver. Remember, the CFI check ride is all about teaching. Number five, the mock oral. This is the classic last but not least. Scheduling and doing a mock oral with your CFI cannot be stressed enough. As a matter of fact, the students I have worked with who failed their check rides were typically the students who never did a mock oral. Almost every failure was a result of students trying to cut corners and not doing a practice oral session with an instructor. The purpose of the mock oral is to identify those areas you are strong in and areas that need some work. This allows you to focus on those areas that need the most work. Besides failing to take a mock oral, one of the worst mistakes you could do is to wait to do that mock oral until just a couple days before your check ride. You want to give yourself time to study up on that material you need to work on and then schedule a second follow-up mock to make sure that you're dialed in and ready for that check ride. I touched on the fundamentals of instruction in the be prepared section. This is an area most students come into the mock oral needing more work. Most people have a tendency to study section A through C and then they start to lose traction on D, E, F, and G. It's very typical because it's such a dry subject, but you've got to understand it all. Typically pilots know the technical stuff fairly well and need to focus on just a few areas. These are the subjects we have studied and learned along the path to becoming a commercial pilot, but the fundamentals of instruction 
our new territory. Typically, you want to plan on three to five hours for mock world time in order to cover all the subject matter. Something that really, really helped me prepare for my check ride was the King School CFI check ride video. It was definitely shot many years ago, but it's still relevant. What's great about it is you get to see John King working with an examiner, and the examiner puts John through the whole oral portion, then they go fly, and it will truly give you a lot of insight into what to expect. I simply loaded it onto my iPad and would go to the gym, get on the treadmill, put in my earbuds, watch the video on the treadmill for an hour at a time. I probably watched that video four or five times all the way through, getting ready for my check ride. I will include a link down in the description below and I do not get any affiliate payments from King. It's just there to help you be successful on Checkride Day. In addition, if you're interested in booking a mock oral with me, we can do that through Zoom. I have done many mock oral sessions with Zoom with students this way, and it works great. You can even easily teach a lesson in that Zoom format. I'll leave a contact in the description below, and you can contact me directly to discuss the possibility of doing a one-on-one -on -one mock oral if you're interested. Okay, let's recap real quick my top five tips for passing your CFI check ride. Number one, be prepared. Remember, go in prepared and ready for the check ride. Number two, dress appropriately. You don't have to wear a suit, but look good. Three, know the endorsements. Make sure to have 6165 Hotel with you and know where to find the information. Four, plan to teach. This is a teaching check ride. The examiner expects you to be able to teach. And finally, number five, do a mock oral. I can't stress, don't skip this. Make sure you do this with somebody and find out and get that litmus test of where you are in things getting ready for the check ride. Well, that's it, folks. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear them in the comments below. I always enjoy reading people's experiences of how their check ride went in hopes that we can help each other prepare for the CFI check ride. So if you've already taken the check ride, please feel free to share your story. If you haven't, if you have any questions, please put them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you have any ideas or you want any more information on different types of videos, let me know and I'll see about getting those videos done for you. Well, that's it for this video, folks. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and don't forget the bell to get notifications of new videos as I will continue to put up videos relevant to becoming and being a flight instructor. Safe flying and keep studying.